hi fam you guys are welcome again to my channel it's your girl melodies tv hope you guys are doing great today again we bring you another good gist thing i've told you guys always in any situation no matter the situation you find yourself in this life just mellow mellow down a little and everything will get into place today i bring you gist thing you guys know kamif just finished last week and a lot of a lot of things happened there some of us could not vlog it me i could not vlog it i could not i couldn't vlog about kamif when it was going on because i had a situation i couldn't talk for almost a week but now everything is back to normal kamif is a cameroon international film festival that took place in cameroon and we have international actors who were in cameroon as well people like ramsey noir and the host of others I couldn't make any video about Camille because I was not having the personality to talk about it. I had a surgery in my gum. I said in my previous video for those who watched it, they heard about it. I had a surgery in my gum. Right now, I still have swollen. It's going down bit by bit, but I can talk now and I can eat. I can even crack a bone <laughs> right now. So thank God for good health. But there is something that caught my mind about Kamif that I said I'm not just going to let it go like that. Everything that went well from day one to the final day, everything went well. I enjoyed everything about it. Though we can never say a party or an event can go 100% successful. There must be blue holes in it. But those blue holes are going to help them to adjust next time when they are doing another event on day one we saw a lot of things that people were not happy especially ramsey noir the way he appeared there he was putting on flip-flop slippers he was just putting on one normal one jean like that one t-shirt like that and the whole media was like what is happening is it that these nigerian actors have taken us to this level that they just minimize everything about us they don't take our thing serious because if this was a nigerian event they would take it serious and they will appear there looking so elegant and looking so you guys know how they appear in their events so now i will drag you guys right up to the pool party at night there is one artist that caught my attention at that pool party and it's nobody else than mike monster mike monster this guy is i don't know he's something else he turned Ramsey Noir to a full-time cameraman. He was so, I mean, he was so amazed. He was so impressed with the whole thing, what was going on. Ramsey Noir could not even help. I mean, he was just recording himself, struggling to fit Mike Monster in his video. <laughs> Mike Monster was singing, this is a recent sound about uh, this journey. Ramsey Noir was so impressed. Even everybody there, the crowd was so impressed with what was going on. So I just like what happened at that pool party. And then the white party, their outfits, everything was good. I love everything about the Camif, what happened there. And then uh, not to leave out the cultural night, the cultural night too, everything went well. As for that, um, that pool party, I'm going to show you guys a video where Ramsey Noir could not help it. He was there vibing to the music even without knowing the lyrics of the music. I'm going to show it to you guys so you guys will watch it now and then we'll move on to the next stage. <laughs> now moving on we are not going to stop there we spotted some other persons in that event that caught our attention and when they were asked some questions about things that they brought up we saw them blabbing about it number one i'm going to talk we have said we will not talk about him on this platform but for some reason we are going to talk about him 
we are going to talk about CY International, the Omega Power, the Omega All of Ban Nigeria Music in Cameroon. I will not say fortunately, I will say unfortunately, when he was being interviewed to talk about himself and about the event and about the band Nigeria music stuff, Siwa was already so drunk that he could not even have a stand. He was being interviewed by Friday Drinks, Friday Drinks program of drunkards. Siwa International was not even able to talk. He was off. I'm going to show you guys a video to see. I'm just going to give you a brief of it to see. He could not even express himself because he was fully drunk. It means everything was really going on there good on that day so we say kudos to cameroon at least the event came to yes it's <laughs> it's indeed um well, we we are the alcoholic switch but but my question one question i want to ask here is mount cameroon race of hope came it went successful there was nothing like COVID. mount cameroon race of hope that's one it came it went successfully other events have been taking place in Cameroon. Artists have been coming. Then he came to Cameroon. It went to us smoothly. And there was nothing like COVID. When Petit Pei launched his concert, his concert was cancelled because they said COVID-19. Because of COVID-19, they are doing preventive measures after turning just left. Now, the next show was supposed to be that of senior pastor who was supposed to bring in other international artists from nigeria ghana and other african countries who were supposed to come to that show it was cancelled with the pretense of covid19 moving on to the next show that was cancelled as well um two baba was supposed to be in cameroon on the 4th of april that show was also cancelled Two Baba's show, the show was cancelled where Two Face was supposed to be in Cameroon with other artists. Now, Women's Day was cancelled in Cameroon because they say of COVID 19. Cancelled. Um, another youth event, was it Ellen February, was cancelled because of COVID. My question is how come the Kamif event took place? when it was an international event that is bringing in people from in and out of Cameroon. But it took place and there were no restrictions about COVID-19. Looking at the event and everything that took place there, is it that there are some particular events that they restrict in Cameroon or people must be in particular cliques in Cameroon before their events can take place? Because if you don't belong in that clique or in that league, your things cannot take place. Why are they canceling other shows and other things are happening? Kamif took place smoothly for days. I cannot remember seeing any of the artists putting on masks. I cannot remember seeing anybody at that event putting on masks. They were free. So is it that COVID-19 was not at the Kamif event? They will attack people at on Women's Day on the 11th of February on uh, Senior Paso show on uh, Petit Pays show or what are they trying to imply? Is it that those people were not going to be to be able to control the crowd or Camille was so special that everything was supposed to go smoothly? Now, the next thing I want to talk about here, do you guys remember Camif just ended? And after Camif, first May was just yesterday. First May was cancelled because of the prevention of the spread of COVID, right? Francis Ngonu, the heavyweight champion, came to Cameroon. They organized people to welcome him. The population was there, the crowd was there. Nothing was prevented because it was Francis. It's a good thing, but is it that COVID-19 does not affect those aspects or are we not understanding this country anymore? When I say the country, they upside down or what is going on? Is it particular things that are being affected? And or the I don't know if the 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 they scan you who is involved in the whole thing before they give you the audience. So just think about it. I don't I know I don't know all, I don't know why all these things are happening. Some of you be, may be well schooled about it, so you're free to use my comment section. Correct me where I'm errored, and I will learn from it. Thank you so much. Now, moving on to the next thing, we watch um 
Bobe Magasco, so happy and so impressed meeting with Petit Pei. Petit Pei, avocado for the lefame. Petit Pei, avocado for the French don't tight. Me no man not laugh me a bit when I keep me for that. I'm a Cameroonian, but I'm not bilingual. I grew up all my life without hearing anybody speaking bonjour beside me. So now we watch uh, Magasco so impressed and so happy. And one thing I picked from that video that I'm going to show you guys is the way I saw Petit Pei. You guys are going to see it here. He's looking so fresh, so good in his ranch. He's looking so good as compared to the previous pictures and images we have been seeing about him since after his accident. It shows that Petit Pei is actually improving and doing well. We thank God for his health. We thank God for the grace. We thank God for keeping him alive. I'm so happy. And then the next thing I noticed about that visit was the level of humility in Magasco. The level, the way he respected Sam Visa. Hey! The way he respected Omega, number one. The way he, I mean, he, when you meet a legend, he, he, he himself pronounced it that he's so happy meeting this living legend. Petit Pei is a living legend. Let's forget about what Stanley Eno almost did to his career. We all know. I never did a reaction on that video. Oh, the, what is the title of that video? They say, is it, eh, uh, is it, yeah. Something like that. That like, we, we, we. We know Stanley Eno almost destroyed Petit Pei's career that he has built for many for many years without music but it's okay about that we'll leave that for god to judge stanley Eno. people are saying that we should appreciate stanley Eno for after how many years petit pay has been down at least try to that's where we we stop we are not going to talk anything about that music we just leave it there stanley Eno, you have tried so we thank god at least the artists are recognizing him. They were there with him on uh, on Labor Day to have time with him, eat with him, and drink with him. It was a good thing. I just admire Magasco for that aspect. You know, Bamenda boys have that. I don't want to talk about other tribe. I'm a Northwesterner, so I know we have we know our upbringing. So if you know your own upbringing, you can talk about it. Our upbringing, we are so respectful. I saw how Magasco respected. Petit Pei with 100% level of respect. When you meet a senior colleague, that is how it should happen. But sometimes we, because now we are trending, like for example, Magasco now is trending and Petit Pei is not giving the hits there. It should have been like the almighty, that grand your time no pass, now so now our time. But no, you saw because Petit Pei, Petit Pei is one of those artists that make way for them, that build the smooth path for them. That is why I love how he respected him. I'm going to show you guys a video to watch. You enjoy it yourself with me. It's a very short clip, but you're going to enjoy it definitely. Let me shake you right now. Let me shake you right now. So this is the legend of your name. Today is your day. I'm happy. I'm happy with you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to your home. Okay. Yeah, you guys know from start, I didn't appreciate my returning subscribers and my new subscribers. I said thank you all so much. You guys are amazing. For watching this video and you enjoy what we are doing on this channel and you haven't subscribed, you are free, you are free to click on our red subscription button and give us a thumbs up at the end if you like the video. Hope I'm going to see you guys on my next upload. Remember, we, no matter the situation you find yourself in life, no matter the circumstances, no matter how stressful, no matter how bad that thing is, just mellow down. Thank you all my family. Thank you all my friends. You guys are my biggest family. The Melo family, I love you guys so much. Hope to see you guys again on my next upload. Bye-bye.